These days, if you see a piece of clothing, upholstery, or a drapery fabric with a pattern, chances are it was made by using a loom or printer. As early as the 14th century, people living in India and China printed patterns onto fabric with carved wooden blocks. It is the oldest textile printing technique and the easiest. Even the kids can try it, so today, with the help of Chad Nelson of Vinland Prints, we're going to show you how you can do it yourself at home. And give some of the background too, which I think is really exciting. So thanks for joining me today. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's tell me a little bit about, I just, there was a little bit of history in that, but walk me through how this kind of works and how it all started. Yeah, that's great. Um, the type of printmaking we're going to be doing today uh, kind of started in the Renaissance and uh, printmaking became very important uh, to uh, the world and uh, using the Gutenberg Press brought uh, artwork to many, many more people than it could be before because we can make multiple originals. And this is sort of an example, you have a mini example of an actual working. Yep, and that, that's an actual working press. That's uh, really cool. A friend of mine 3D printed that for me. Uh, and what we're doing today is relief printing. So if uh, we look at that rubber stamp there, that's basically, you know, uh, what we're doing is we're creating a stamp uh, to stamp on paper or onto uh, fabric. That is so fun. And you have a few examples here, too, yeah. of things that you've done. And this is a really, like, intricate, and this is the actual stamp that's you the created. Block. The block that's you the created. block from that one, yep. Okay. That's so much fun. So... What are some of the ways I can do this? Okay, so the way that we're going to start out is we're going to start out by just doing a drawing or uh, looking at a photograph. And what we want to make sure uh, what we do is that we have um, uh, something that's high contrast. We don't want, you know, uh, a lot of grays and things. We want to be able to identify the blacks and whites very easily. So here's kind of an example. Uh, of uh, what I started with just as uh, to get going is just drawing uh, some leaves or a stick or something. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have uh, these blocks here in particular I, we're using today because we're not using a printing press with this process. We're just going to be using uh, the pressure of the hand through a spoon uh, or um, you can something get, like this. Yeah, and you made that. And mm -hmm. We'll have a link on our page. We have a list of supplies and some different things that you can go buy, and they're pretty affordable and easy, or you can kind of do it your DIY way. Right. So on this one here, I just kind of darken the surface so uh, on TV you can see oh, what I'm doing. Idea. So okay. instead of, you know, you just see pink on pink. And so what I did then is I took and I uh, took some graphite and I went over the back of this. You could use uh, carbon paper uh, as well. And I just took and I taped this down and then I went over with a ballpoint pen to transfer to see my the image. drawing onto the block. Okay. All right. And so this is uh, a pretty standard linoleum cutter uh, tool. And inside there's several different cutters. Uh, and that's on that link as well. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and put in a cutter here. And what I'm going to do then is any area that I'm going to carve away is going to be white. So, uh, and you'll notice that I'm going to hold the tool here like this. And I'm going to start removing uh, some of uh, the linoleum here. This is actually a soft rubber. So this is actually pretty easy to do. Yeah. Um, but let me uh, caution you. Uh, I uh, teach art at Brandon Valley High School, and one of the big rules there is you should never have your hand in front of the cutter. Okay. <laughs> okay? And if you put your hand in front of the cutter, you're going to end up writing a five-page paper. So Don't you know, do that. Yeah, because I'll, I'll know. So now I've seen a few kind of home versions of this, too, where people have even used something like a potato. Sure. Or soap. Or soap, soap or potato to kind of carve mm -hmm. out something you want to use like that. Yep. And you don't really even have to go buy a supply for that. No. The, no, the potato isn't going to last long. You're not going to be able to do tons and tons no, of No, but you can do some. So we're, we're about halfway through how much time we have. So I want to make sure we get to kind of the okay. printing part too. Can you show me what's awesome. next? Yep. Okay, so move some of this stuff yep. out of the way here. So you just have sort of this like area and you're putting some, is this like a special for this or is it just kind of a paint? This is what we're using today is oil-based ink. Uh, you can use water-based. It does not work as well. Okay. Um, but um, 
especially if you're using it on fabric, you need to use the oil-based ink because if you wash the, the water, the water-based ink will wash right out. Okay, so I'm rolling a thin layer of ink out here and uh, I'm going to ink this. And if I were doing this at home, could I brush it on carefully if I didn't have a roller and I was using a potato? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Um, all right, okay. so uh, I inked up my little bird stamp here and yep. I'm going to lay a piece of paper over the top. And then I have a wooden spoon or I have this tool uh, that I use. And I want to make sure that I hold my hand on the block here. I don't want the paper to move around. Okay. Uh, and what happens if uh, I let it move around a little bit, it uh, will um, skew and you'll get a double image. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Now, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time here, Make but you'll get the general yep. idea. Let's see it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That is really fun. So there, okay. you know, is my second in that edition. Now, quickly, I'm going to Okay, while you wash that off, we have up. a couple of images, too, of some of the things that we can maybe bring up. So you're just going to use some vegetable oil to clean that off. That's right. And that's one of the things. You, now, that's very intricate. So you can do something from, you know, your potato and some letters to something that intricate is pretty mm -hmm. impressive. That one there is actually a giant print. It's four foot by eight foot. And we use a steamroller to print that. Okay. This is fun. And you were telling me, too, before we started that you have to be careful because it's an inverted image. So if you're using any lettering, That's you right. have to make sure you do the lettering Yeah, inverted. you have to do it backwards. So I had an example here. Yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. hi, Mom. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. And so it's you backwards. can see it's backwards. Yeah. The hi is backwards. Mom is always frontwards. Sorry, I had to. That's okay. And so then you have, for the rainbow, you just are using two, like three different colors or however many you want, really. You're right. going to be careful that's when right. you roll it down. So, um, I'll have you do this. And what you're going to do is you're going to, sorry. Okay. Uh, you're going to roll that. Uh, and you're going to roll it up. Well, you're going to roll it up. up and then and just then touch the ink. Touch the ink. Okay, now bring it back down. And as you bring it back down, you're going to lift the roller up and just roll back and forth. Try not to get the black on the other side. Okay, Am lift I the getting... roller up so you're okay. coming down on it in a different spot every time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. And while we're doing this too, I've, we've got, we're almost out of time. I'm going to try to get this. But you also do a really cool method with bleach that you spray on, and that's on sure. your... Sure. Uh, yeah, so this is an example of this uh, printed. Uh, onto a dark shirt and then I sprayed bleach over the top of it and I also did that with my apron this this apron was black yesterday and this is the little block that ink? I carved that's really cool do I have enough ink on get roll it just a little bit more okay. so that it's kind of nice and solid um, and so what we're doing right now is we're doing an example of a rainbow roll which is uh, this right here oh that's cool okay well I'm gonna keep working on this I might not be able to show you the final product right here because we are out of time, but I'll make sure and get it done and put it on Facebook. So check that out. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to go home and start printing things myself. <laughs>